that you can't register to vote here, mm -hmm. and again, they're required by federal law yes. in order to be a place in order to register to vote. The Ni National Voter Registration Act of 93 mandates that they do that. The, nobody in this office, except for one person, can answer any questions regarding this. She's on the phone trying to figure out how she should answer these questions, and her employees are unable to keep up with the demand that just came in here today. The other thing is she's denying us the right to register to vote on site today. They can't do that. And that's illegal. The thing is, we didn't come here to create a scene. We came here to get our photo ID. We are being isolated from the rest of the people here. We're being treated differently. Right. And I'm just here to register to vote. I can't afford to get a new driver's license. Not to vote, that's a poll tax. I'd like my free voter ID. I have the money to do that right now. I have more student debt than this office has monthly budget. Okay. If we fill us of people, all right, we need a voting ID. This office should be ready by now to implement a set setup so you can just use your current, you know, driver's license or, or, or get a temporary voting ID. So it seems like there's a lot of places where the folks who designed this law didn't think about uh, the fact that folks would have to pay to vote and line up. But as a group of people who apparently already don't have voting rights, the state's already treating us as a class and just setting us aside. Uh, off into the hall. I mean, it's it's almost ironic if it wasn't so sad and un-American. It's not about voter fraud. We got to get that straight. This is about voter suppression of Americans.